After receiving their at-large berth from the Frontier Conference by beating Carroll College in the regular season finale, the 7-3 Ore Diggers are back in the playoffs for the first time after a seven-year hiatus. Can they keep up that success under head coach Kyle Sampson at home by besting the Blue Hawks of 9-1 Dickinson State? Let's see how things shook out on the field. After a nearly 50-yard kickoff return, the hometown Diggers would take it all the way down the field in four plays, capped off by this tough touchdown run up the gut by Charlotte's own Lander Smith. Tech would lead early 7-zip, but DSU with 54 rostered players from the state of Montana would respond defensively as Bozeman's own Brooks Talbot would come up with the tipped INT to set up his Blue Hawks with great field position. Dickinson State's big back would take the handoff in for six as they tie the game up at seven apiece midway through the first quarter in a game that looked like Tech would run away early. Diggers QB1 Blake Thielen would pump fake everyone out here, including myself, as he gets the ball to a wide open Mark Estes who walks it in for the touchdown bomb. Tech leads by seven, still in the first. After a missed field goal, Dickinson's Will Madler gets the ball back as he heaves it deep to 6'3 senior wideout Noah Sickler, who gets pushed out of bounds on a wild play that sees the Bluehawks add six more. PAT would be good in a back and forth first half. With 30 ticks left to play in the first half, Thielen drops it right in the bread basket of redshirt junior out of Whitehall, Wyatt Alexander for the tutty right before the halftime break. <laughs> Hometown Montana Tech would only score one more time in the second half as the Blue Hawks prevail on the road in Butte as they move on in a tightly contested 35-28 victory. Blue Hawks head coach Pete Stanton. It's big for us, you know, and people just need to get over, I will say, you know, the team we were 10 years ago. You know, these guys were in third or fourth grade at that time. We, we have a good team and we've known that and, and I hope these guys get the respect they, they deserve because our guys have really worked hard to get there. From the mining city, he's Bartra, NTN Sports.